Oh, hi! I'm Riley Schrader, and today we're going to be talking about Warren Theater's Drama Club. There's a lot that goes on during the fall semester, so I'll give you a little description of what's going on. Currently, we're getting ready for our fall shows, A Midsummer Night's Dream at the Open Auditorium, and Clue at the Almond Black Box. As well, Giggles and Bits has just started production. Let's head over to the Oakland Auditorium to see what's going on. I am here with Mr. Engelmeyer, the improv coach for Giggles and Bits. First question, how has it been working with Mr. Miller? I love Mr. Miller. Uh, I've known him for a couple of years now. He and I get along super well. I think our strengths really complement each other. He has a good background in sketch writing, and that's what he's focusing on with the troupe. And I have more of a background in improv, so that's what I'm focusing on. So I think together, we are going to construct a really good team, but obviously the most important part is you guys, the uh, students. So you guys have really been doing a lot of good work. Uh, you know, the finest sculptor can only create awesome art uh, out of the clay that they have. But you guys are more than clay. Great, thank you so much. You're welcome, thank you. <laughs> Great talk with Mr. Engelmeyer. If you love comedy, then you should come and see their show at the Almond Black Box on November 8th. The show's this season, all of it of comedy to them. Let's go head over to the Old Plain Auditorium to talk with the directors, Mr. Miller and Ms. Daring, of A Midsummer Night's Dream. Mr. Miller, we know that you love to teach and work with Shakespeare plays. What is it about Shakespeare, Shakespeare's work that you love? That, well, there's multiple things. One thing I love about Shakespeare's work is his stories are universal. Even though they're over 400 years old, they connect to our lives, to our day, to our to the human condition, right? Which ultimately doesn't change all that much, right? We're all humans on this earth working to feel accepted and loved, and in the case of a comedy, chaos ensues, right? And, and that's part of life. So that's one thing I love about Shakespeare. And the other thing I really like about Shakespeare, especially at the high school level, is how many kids don't like Shakespeare. And they love theater, and they don't like Shakespeare until they do it. And then they go, you know, there's something about that that was a lot of fun, or it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be, or I understood it better. And so that educational aspect of doing something that you think you don't like, or you find scary and getting value out of them. So, Ms. Daring, with Miller on paternity leave, how has taking the reins of production been? Has it been stressful or is it fun? It has been fun. I think it really hasn't been that stressful at all, especially with Mr. Miller standing right here. It's not at all, <laughs> not at all influencing my answer one bit. I think of um, this being my third year with more drama, that helps a lot. When you know a lot of the people, you know a lot about the space. And you know, I know Mr. Miller pretty well. I know what this production needs to be successful. Great talk with the director. The performances of A Midsummer Night's Dream are on October 10th through the 12th. Now on to the fall dinner theater production of Clue. Let's talk with Ms. Zimmerman to get all of the updates. How did you come up with choosing Clue? Truthfully, um, the play I wanted to do. I couldn't get. Mm -hmm. So I had put out an application to get a different play, which was a farce, because um, I wanted to work on farcical comedy with people. Um, couldn't get that, and finally heard that I couldn't get that, and decided that um, Clue would be a great farce and a great backup to, to do Clue. Um, it's campy, it's fun, people seem to love the movie, it has a cult following. And uh, it does. It's like this weird cult following. Um, Could you and tell us about the cool set designs that will be incorporated? Yeah. So um, one thing that we're doing is um, we've partnered with a uh, salvage yard that does architectural salvaging. Um, and so they have a bunch of 1930s, 1940s oh, cool. rollback furniture and fixtures that they've gotten from like houses that have been torn down, you know, those old houses. And so um, they are giving us stuff to use. Um, so we're suspending windows from the catwalks. We're um, using some vintage doors. Uh, we're getting a couple of vintage furniture pieces on loan. Going. Some chandelier. Great talk with Ms. Zimmerman. Clue show dates are on October 24th through 26th. Now, let's go talk with Brooke Muller, the president of Drama Club, on what she has to say. So, we're here with Brooke Muller, the president of Drama Club. So, Brooke, how do you like being president of Drama Club? I love being president of Drama Club. It's super fun um, because I've been in drama club for all four years of high school, and I remember the presidents like from way when I was like a freshman and a sophomore, even last year. 
Um, but I was always like super influenced by them, and so I like being able to um, influence the ones that the kids that come the ones the kids that come after me. <laughs> yeah. Why did you join drama club in the first place? I joined drama club because I was not a sporty kid, mm -hmm. and I had done like outside musicals and stuff for like the different park districts in the area, and I really loved it. I had fun. I loved performing and everything. And I just thought that drama club would be like a really good way to make friends from like all sorts of like places from but and like I love to perform and I love to hang out with my friends and that's really what drama club is so okay, thank you so much of course thank you and there you have it Warren Theatre's drama club if you're interested please check out the d121.org drama club page or check out the warrentheater.net page as well follow our social media links if any questions or comments, please feel free to email the Drama Council members. Our next meeting is November 5th, and we'll be having a spooky Halloween party and some fun theater games. See you there!